more confident in the chest part or the boxing part? Uh, the boxing part, not because I feel confident in boxing, it's because I didn't do any chest prep, so. I've done, I'd say 90% boxing, 10% chess. It makes more sense to funnel all your effort into one thing, right? You win in one thing to win the whole thing. You don't win in both things to win the whole thing. Are you happy with your opponent? Yeah. He actually was basically the person that got me into streaming. My goal is to knock him out. It's a bit of like a, like a student beating the master. Yeah. Is there anything you want to say to your opponent? Good luck. Um, he messaged me. He said um, I inspired him to start streaming. So that was pretty cool. And now he's going to beat my ass. And, and now for the final event of the evening, the main event, we're going to kick it over to Germa for the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the main event? <laughs> louder than that, louder than that. This is your main event. Let's go, 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 go. The clear crowd favorite of the night, but a tough opponent in Point Pro, a former collegiate rower, 5'9", 150, a 70 inch reach. He's been training hard while also doing some insane events. The live battleship with real ships and explosions, the IRL Mario Party. He's been working hard both in the ring and off the ring as a creator. We'll see what he can do. He's looking fucking fierce. And in Togadome, he has only been fighting bigger fighters. Back to Germa for the next. And his opponent fighting out of the black corner at five foot seven, weighing 141 pounds. Disguised Toast. Toast, one of the first fighters added to the card to this event, eventually made the main card because of the fan favorites and also the work he's put in. Three to four days a week for a few months now, walking out to one of the greatest songs from Millie the Pichu. Last cup of coffee, I don't know if it's for him or for Point Crow, but that's what we're about to find out in just a few moments. It's gonna be a, such a hype matchup, not only because they're two great competitors, but because of their history. The inspiration to start streaming coming from Toast for Point Crow. That fucking and text, bro, that was out of pocket. Great friends. My God. Anyway, for the people in the audience, the predictions on the screen, take out your phone, scan the QR code, and predicts who's it gonna be. And let's hear it by your, your mouths. If you think Point Crow's gonna win, let me hear it! Uh-oh, okay. If you think the winner will be Disguised Toast, let me hear it. Big pop. And the vote weighs in 63% favorite for Toast. About two thirds, a little under, are predicting he'll win, but he's got a tough opponent. He's got a tough opponent here. If we look at the tail of the tape, the way that their bodies line up, very close. Not a lot of edge to be gained there. Absolutely.